Okay, this is a reference platform for the Tegra K1 that we just announced here at uh, CES. And it's a 7 inch? This is a 7 inch tablet. This is the same sort of format as our Tegra Note 7, which has a Tegra 4, but we put the new K1 processor with 192 uh, CUDA cores and four Cortex A15s and one A15 Ninja core slash Power Saver core. And we're going to go in and run a realistic rendering of a living room that is using the Unreal Engine 4. Okay, now this is the first time UE4 is running on a mobile device. None of the competition is even close to this. We're going to zoom in a little bit and take a look at some of the features of the Unreal Engine 4 being used in Tegra K1. And let's look here just at the couch and at the quality of these cushions. I mean, they look real. They look like all the imperfections and the leather, the way the leather looks natural, I should say. And tessellation is at work here. Whoops. And higher quality textures. Let's look at the wall. Go and zoom in on the stucco type wall. Okay, hard my driving. Again, high quality. And we're going to back out and look at the floor now. We have global illumination going on, reflections, uh, like I said, tessellation, all kinds of lighting. Let's go take a close look over here at the floor, which is in wood grain. And go in, you can see over here some of the reflections. Let's go zoom in. I think we might even see some imperfections in the wood. Aha, right there. Okay. You mean there, right? Yeah, over there, yep, yep. On that, on that bright spot. Yeah, the bright spot. Yeah, you can you can actually see some wood imperfections in like right there in certain areas. Yep, exactly. So backing back out. Okay, zoom back here. Got to get my steering. But anyway, so this is really cool. You won't see this sort of quality of any mobile device this year. This is OpenGL 4.4 running Unreal Engine 4. This is the first, you won't see any competitive devices with this sort of quality, only the Tegra K1. And the 32-bit version of Tegra K1 will be out in the first half of this year, and the 64-bit of Tegra K1, which uses our Denver CPU cores that we have an ARM architecture license, will be out in the second half of this year. Okay, so that's the realistic rendering living